Hello and welcome back for some more fun with Power Tools. My latest project is one I've been meaning to do pretty much since I moved in and that's to cover up these pipes in the downstairs toilet. When the house was first built we believe it had a warm air central heating system and I've been gradually covering the vents from, from that up as we redecorate. It was then retrofitted with a combi boiler and radiator system sometime before we moved in which means that a lot of the pipework is a bit exposed as it would have been quite a big job to conceal it in the walls and under the floor as you, pro as you should do. This as you can see is rather ugly. My plan to fix this is to build a box section to cover the pipes up. It should be fairly simple, I'll cut a piece of hardboard to the right shape to go around the boiler and cover up the pipes, then attach some 10cm plank to the back of it to form the sides of the box, and screw some supports onto the wall to hold the whole thing up. Simple right? Well, I've already taken the measurements and worked out the shape I want, so the next step is to sketch the required shape onto the hardboard. I picked the least damaged corner to start at and went from there. The edge is reasonably straight, it's probably better than I could cut myself at this stage. Now for the first cuts. First I'm cutting off the, the excess, the bits that are well outside the area that I'm working with. These are some quite nice big pieces, so I'll save them for a future project. Next I need to cut the inner chunk to get the large L shape that I need. For the second cut here, I decided that having a straight edge to run the jigsaw along wasn't really helping, and that I'd be able to cut just as straight a line by following the pencil line. Let's see if it fits. At this point, I realised that I'd measured the main box of the boiler, but hadn't really thought about the tray sticking out underneath it. I'd also not checked the wooden supports for the toilet's tank, or one of the pipes in the bottom left that sticks out a bit further than the rest. That's not a problem though. I can do a few more cuts to go around those bits. For the back of the rectangular cutouts, I decided it would be better to do it with a Stanley knife rather than to try and get the jigsaw around the corners. Once those areas are cleared out, it's time for another test fitting. This was much better, however the back corner still needed a little more work. Handily, hardboard isn't actually all that hard, so I was able to trim it down with a pair of scissors to get quite a neat fit. The hardboard at this stage is clearly far too floppy and only covers the front of the pipework, so the next step is to cut a piece of the plank to use as the, as the right side of the box. This I tacked in place with a couple of squirts of hot glue and then ran some screws through the hardboard into the plank, but somehow I don't seem to have any footage of that, sorry. <laughs> I can show myself adding the supports for the other side of the narrow bit though. For these I added a narrow cross beam that would go over the pipes and a short piece of the 10cm plank so that the thicker would be, would be providing the strength rather than relying on the hardboard for structure. A second one of these at the bottom of the narrow bit finishes that part off nicely. That means it's time for another test fit. This went quite well, except I was reminded there's a cornice moulding going around the top of the wall, so I need to cut the side of the box to fit that as well. <laughs> a little bit of measurement and some work with the jigsaw quickly sorted that out, and um, it was time to check it again. This time it fitted much more nicely, although in hindsight I've, I've cut away slightly more than I needed to. I might need to put some filler in around there once it's fitted. So at this point the box is pretty much holding itself in place. It does still need to be anchored properly, so that brings me on to fitting some wall supports. These supports are 2x2 two two offcuts of the 10cm plank, which is big enough to run a couple of screws through into the wall and then run a screw through the side of the box into the support. To make sure that the mounting holes lined up, I hot glued the supports to the wall, then drilled a pair of holes through, uh, stopping just after the drill touched the wall behind. I then removed the supports and pulling some paint off in the process, and finish the wall holes off with a masonry drill bit. Roll plugs in these holes ensure that the screws won't slip, allowing me to then properly screw the supports to the wall. This is the same technique I used with the cupboard shelves in the previous video, although with much smaller supports this time. Finally, at least for this video, I then put the box back in place, drilled some pilot holes and ran screws through the uh, box side into the supports. It's held in place very nicely now, and mostly feels very strong and secure, although I think some more support is needed in a couple of places. During the build process, I did make a few mistakes. I managed to split one of the internal support struts, probably because I hadn't drilled a pilot hole, and, and I also forgot the width of the plank when I measured the narrow part of the box, uh, forcing me to make a second front panel. However, I think the biggest problem was that I chose hardboard for the front of the box. It's cheap and easy to cut, but the edges fray very easily, and it's not really rigid enough to hold against the planking, so it's left some gaps. I'm going to go and pick up a sheet of 10mm MDF instead and replace it with that, but I think that's a task for the next video. I hope you'll come back to join me for that one, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.